thanks uh, for coming for that. All right. <laughs> Tricky, isn't it? When you go to buy a toaster, and at the end, the shop assistant says, well, what about insurance? You don't want to, but you end up taking a hostage. <laughs> 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 Tricky, isn't it? If you're both a moth and a sea captain, in charge of ship, but up ahead, you see a lighthouse. <laughs> you know you shouldn't, but you want to. <laughs> Tricky, isn't it? When you're in a mosque and everyone's praying, and you really enjoy leapfrog. <laughs> I used to think that sticks and stones could break my bones, but words can never hurt me until I fell into a printing press. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have been skiing recently, but then again, how would I? So, I'll just come back from Australia. While I was there, I learned some Aboriginal words like boo, which means to return. You see, when you throw an ordinary meringue, you got to think about these. <laughs> right, uh, boomerang. That's right. <laughs> I've just come back from America. While I was there, I bought the tickets for the Cowboys versus the Bears. A bit of a disappointment. I wanted to see Cowboys versus the Bears. <laughs> so then I bought the tickets for the Giants versus the Jets. Another missed opportunity. <laughs> And I bought tickets for the Packers versus the Dolphins. Get in the box! <laughs> <laughs> so just the other day, I was on the train to Fukuoka. The guard came on and said, when we arrive, it would be 1938. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time travel! We're a bit late that we arrived in the middle of 2012. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I used to work at a supermarket. It was my job to hand out little samples for people to taste as they shopped around. But I got fired after little cups of bleach incident. <laughs> <laughs> after that, I worked at a pathology lab. Uh, I'll tell you what, you see some terrible things in a pathology lab. Once, I uncovered a moss grave of thousands of snowmen. But fortunately, it was just a field of carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I remember up. one time someone brought in a dead squirrel. Talk about bad luck. He had a nod out of you. I got fired from that job as well after one of my reports said, cause of death, autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> so the next job I had, I worked in an airport. I was a parking attendant. I parked airplanes. I got fired because I kept locking the keys in them. On my last day there, they caught me on an eight-foot step ladder trying to get in the window with a coat hanger. <laughs> so, after that, I worked at Ikea with every sort of 7,000 different items. Give me a number between 1 and 7,000, I'll tell you about it. So, sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> after that job, I worked at a bank. I was a banker, but I quit that job because I lost interest. <laughs> so I was just reading the other day that uh, apparently people think that firefighters deserve more money. So a poll was taken and they all fell through a hole in the floor. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, one So, similes, what are they like? <laughs> I was walking along today and on the road I saw a small dead baby ghost. Although, thinking about it, it might have been a handkerchief. <laughs> I come from a family of police marksmen. I believe that was in reaction against my grandfather. Uh, he was a bank robber. He died quite recently, uh, surrounded by his family. <laughs> my other grandfather, uh, he was a peeping Tom. He used to drill holes in the floor and spy on the people in the flat below. He died quite recently, but I like to think of him as up there somewhere, oh. looking down on us. <laughs> that was Father, bad. Father, he would 
never ever throw anything away, so he died in the wall holding onto a hand grenade. <laughs> <laughs> My other grandfather, he always used to talk about how in the old days he used to leave his back door open, which I believe that's why his submarine sank. <laughs> <laughs> My other grandfather, <laughs> bear with me. My other grandfather, he was a GI. He worked for the RAF. Okay, I lied, he was a giraffe. My other grandfather, a uh, bit of an unusual man, always interrupting people's conversations going, Why oh, are you sleeping a POW? Yeah. People look at him like, oh sorry, prisoner of war, shush up. What they didn't realize was he was only part way through spelling Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and my other grandfather, <laughs> I sometimes wonder what he'd think about what I'm doing now. Uh, he spent his whole life in the kebab business. He's buried with his equipment. He's probably turning in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother is confused. <laughs> <laughs> My nephew says when he grows up he wants to be an accountant. So for his birthday I bought him a great big bag of receipts. I said, listen, if you don't like it, I've kept all the presents. <laughs> <laughs> My auntie Marge has been sick for so long. We've changed the name to I can't believe she's not better. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's gotten to the stage where all she talks about is who's just died. Do you remember Mariel? She's just died. Do you remember Arthur? He's just died. I said, Mom, get off the roof and give me the gun. <laughs> 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 These are kind of dark. I never used to like when my father would come pick me up from school to see he was a garbage man. Now it wasn't because I was embarrassed he was a garbage man, I just never knew what day he would come. <laughs> <laughs> so, the pollen count, that's a difficult job, right? Especially if you have uh, hay fever. One sneeze and you've got to start all over again. <clears throat> well, my sister's got hay fever and it turns out she's got diabetes as well. So I tried to cheer up, you know, flowers and chocolates. <laughs> she also gets vertigo as well, so I like to phone her up randomly just to say hi. <laughs> so, if you're an Earl and you receive an OBE, does that make you an earlobe? My lasting memory of Houdini? No, wait, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Math. History. Good. Mini. <laughs> period. I remember when I was in school, I spent half my time doing things like uh, fractions. Well, I say half my time. I remember at the end of every school year, they had this big mathematics test, which I honestly don't know how anybody could pass this test after some of the questions that were on here. Like, for example, what is 2 plus 2? Answer choices. A, 5, B, 6, C, 7, or D, 8. So I went with the most obvious choice, I said 5. Between you and me, ladies and gentlemen, I was uh, bullied at school. <laughs> You're not helping, it was my pirates. <laughs> and hyenas. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, my impression of a PE teacher. Show me. I teach running? Run! I teach swimming. Swim. A little bit of geography. Jog. <laughs> so, as a teacher, where do you stand? You stand in the front of the classroom, you can run on the ball, but you can't see the students. You stand in the back of the classroom, you can see the students, but you can't run on the ball. No one's been able to solve this dilemma. Not by long chalk. 
<laughs> so my parents came up last weekend because I keep them in the cellar. <laughs> That's not true. I don't know who they are. <laughs> Tell you what, I love fairground food. Ah, uh, yeah. There's nothing like eating cotton candy, those caramel apples, those pour on the back goldfish. <laughs> I love quotes. You know, knowledge is power. France is bacon. To be honest, I think my favorite is France is bacon. <laughs> Enjoy reading? Oh yeah. It's nothing like reading a good book and thinking to yourself, ah, there's Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know when you're in a relationship, what's that like? <laughs> I remember one time I saw this beautiful girl, she was wearing a t-shirt that said, fight poverty, so just impress her, I went over and hit a homeless person. <laughs> 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 no, she didn't like that. I had this girl come up to me one time and said, You can tell a person's personality by the car they drive. I said, I'm going to stop you right there. I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, if you want to confuse a girl, buy her chocolate shoes. <laughs> Never give up your seat for a lady. Uh, that's how I lost my job as a bus driver. Oh. <laughs> so, old ladies in wheelchairs with blankets over their legs? I don't think so. Retired mermaids. <laughs> my wife tells me that I'm unnecessarily mysterious. Well, does she? <laughs> It's kind of hard to say what she does. Uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> it told me that I was too immature to be a father. But when I saw the first seconds of my son's life, I said, he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hardest thing I ever did was uh, travel around the world in a boat. Not this one. Day one. I've never been better prepared for anything in my entire life. Day two, I've run out of water. <laughs> Beginning to regret water parks in Blue Whale. <laughs> Day three, the 1st of May. Radio Mayday greetings to all ships in the area. An enthusiastic response to begin with, but then it goes a bit south. Day four, suddenly our captain abandoned ships and flies towards the lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> He's also been eating my uniform. I need a new hat. Radio cat size to all ships in the area. An enthusiastic response to begin with, but then it goes a bit south. So to cut a long story short, the end. <laughs> so I used to file faxes for the mob, and I was involved in very organized crime. <laughs> so a little hint of advice. Being chased by a police dog, don't go through a little tunnel, then onto a seesaw, and jump through a fire. Because <laughs> they train for that. <laughs> Never buy a smoke alarm with a snooze function. So, I remember one Christmas, I was excited to see what I got. So I ran downstairs, and I ripped open one of my presents, but unfortunately it was a puppy. Oh. oh. That's not true. It was a kitten. Oh. Yes. I remember one year, I asked for an action man, but what I got was a little plastic dog and you pulled the quarter by 20, 20, 25, 25, 30, 35, 35. I looked at the back. Auction man. It always blew my mind how Santa could perpetuate class division by giving expensive presents to rich kids and cheap presents to poor kids. I have been to Santa for many, many years until my school principal called me in his office one day and said, Look, there's no such thing as poor kids. <laughs> so, I went on for Christmas this year, I couldn't get to the door. Too many granddads. I told you to bear with me. <laughs> I think my earliest memory is seeing my mother's face from the inside of the open window. 
we're playing hot the thimble. Uh, she said, you're getting warmer. <laughs> she was very good at feeding me and my sister. She'd always go, there's a train coming, there's a train coming, there's a train coming. And I knew that I had to take a bite or she wouldn't have me for the railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen some, I've seen some crazy things in my entire life. Once I saw a magic tree. It was hovering in the air. It didn't matter how fast I drove towards it. It just stayed in the same spot. I ran out of gas eventually, but I was so close. I could smell it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my favorite TV show is the one where the occupants of a house leave and they come back a few days and everything's changed. London's burning. <laughs> I think if I had unlimited money, I'd have two private investigators get them to follow each other. <laughs> so I bought one of those hot water bottles that you can put in the microwave. It still tasted horrible. Soon, and I shouldn't have eaten it in the first place. Oh. <laughs> well, my life hasn't been a total waste. I was the man who discovered DNA. I wasn't going to call it that at first, but when I was giving my lecture, I said, Gentlemen, I believe I've discovered the uh, fingerprints to all human life form. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.